How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of Lawson's up in this piece in the form of their Scrag Mountain Pills Salt and Lime. Pills number lime, straight from the Green Mountains to your head. <sighs> I love Scrag. Man, I love Scrag Mountain Pills. It's one of my favorite kind of super chuggers. Um, we just started getting Lawson's kind of down my way. and um, But not this. We, you know, we get like sip and baby sip and and maybe one or two other super sessions. Um, ooh, uh, what's that? Bl uh, the Blonde American Blonde Ale or whatever it is. That's really good. Anyway, um, I haven't seen this. Knockout Blonde, that's what it's called. And um, I was at like out further east in New Jersey and there was a shop right liquors. I was like popped in and I'm walking through, walking through. I'm like, ooh, Scrag Mountain Pills. I was like, fantastic. I'll grab it. And then they saw salt and lime. I was like, Phew. and I kept walking. I took three steps and stopped and said, that sounds like it's going to be fucking amazing. Why are you pshawing the shit out of that? Because it's summer. We want those chuggers. So yeah, that's how I got this. I picked this up with, I forgot what else I picked up. With this. Something else I never had before. So yeah, excited to give it a whirl as I am pretty much all beer, new beers and, and pretty much Lawson's because especially your low ABV stuff. Good God. Bring it all, baby. Bring it all. Uh, label wise, it's pretty much exactly what they do every time. I don't know where my little stand is. I have my little stand that I put my stuff on. I don't know where it is. See, I'll oh, we'll put the beer back here so you can see it instead of closer. How's that sound? Um, that probably better than where I put it over there, honestly. But um, as far as that beer looks, it looks all the part of a Pilsner. A pinky finger, white as white could be head, uh, retaining pretty nicely with this nice kind of Pilsner area a little bit towards Vienna kind of uh, kind of coloration on it, soft carbonation. Looks all the part of a Pilsner. Yeah, it's a good nose. I mean, there's definitely a lime component in here. It's not heavy-handed, but it's enough to kind of add a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of sizzle to like a basic Pilsner. And when I say basic, I mean that in a very complimentary way, not like basic Pilsner, like a base, really well done Pilsner, because that's what you have. You basically have what is... is Essentially, they're Scrag Mountain with that little lime component. Now, I assume they tweak the base a little bit. Who knows? 4.8%. I think the other one is that. But yeah. Pilsner malt, touch of lime. I could sit here and tell you there's a minerality in there. Is it salt? I don't know, but it smells like a crusher. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's delicious. That is delicious. I would look at, stare at, and drink that all beer all day. Man, that's just so good. It's exactly why I bashawed it and then went, wait a minute, what are you doing, idiot? That sounds like it's going to be fantastic, and it is, because what you're getting, super well-made, super drinkable, super quaffable, super chuggable, just stopping short of super crispy kind of Pilsner, tight as tight could be, no off flavors with that nice little pop of... Uh, Lime, and they, they say salt and lime on here. They don't talk about a solid addition unless they talked about it on here, that part I skipped. There is a minerality to this. So I could see there being some kind of, not necessarily a dose of salt, but using maybe a specific treatment of water or something like that to bring that kind of minerality that comes off a little uh, like salinity in the beer. <sighs> Listen, this is, I think today's the hottest day of 2021, at least where I live. It was like 92, 93 degrees when I was outside today. I was bumping and bopping around the Le Lehigh Valley. This is exactly what I wanted to come home to. So yeah, super great chugger. I love the addition of the lime. Is it better than their base scrag? I don't know. I think it's just a different twist on, on a really great beer. And honestly, just like, give me this. The, I think it was 12 bucks for 12, maybe 12.99 for a four pack of this. I have no qualms at that price point. So is it one of the better pilsners I've had as of late? Yes, Mount Rushmore probably, if not on, eating close to it. Value and availability, like I said, picked it off, of shel off a shelf for $13 American, American. And I'll uh, leave you with, if you like, well, we like this beer. If you like pilsner and you like lime. I mean, you know, there's the whole joking, like Corona's dumb, you put the, 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 the orange or the lime in it. And not, you know what? There's something to that. Um, Pilsner does really well with like a little bit of kind of a, like a, a, a citrus edition, where there be from hops or an actual dose of lime. And this kind of proves it here. And and you can have some, some really well made Pilsner kind of follow that suit and do it really well. And that's what you have here. So if you'd like crushable, drinkable summer beers, you'd be hard pressed to find something better than this. There you go.
for reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little scrag right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.